Hi, I'm Hania. I'm a VC 2020 graduate at Mac. Um, I'm 17 and I've been here for seven years. Six years. <laughs> um, my name's Ella. Uh, I'm a VC graduate 2020 and I started at Mac mid 2016, so halfway through year eight. Oh, and I'm 18, sorry. <laughs> I'm Alex, I'm a 2020 VC graduate. I'm 18, I've been here since year 7. I'm Kenneth, I've been, I'm a VCAL 2020 graduate. I'm 17 and I've been here since 2018. I'm Elsie, I'm a VC uh, 2020 graduate and I've been here, well, uh, the start of term for 2018 when I was in year 10, so two and a bit years. Uh, my name is David, a uh, VCAL graduate, uh, 2020, and I've been here since 2017. <laughs> so, what do you like about the school? Um, yeah, I'll start. I love how everyone's like, is inclusive and all that, and how friendly everyone is and all that, and I just felt so welcoming when I first came. It, it didn't matter what year level, it's like everyone around the school is just very welcoming and it was really nice. So yeah, I came. Mm, there's no sort of no defined structure as well. Yeah, like all the different year levels are all integrated and you kind of do classes like based on what you want to do. So um, you kind of get friends from like different year levels. With you. Yeah, yeah, different year levels. Yeah, which happens, like, yeah. Yeah. And stuff. Being able to choose your um, classes that has been and will always be my favourite thing. Um, yeah. I like how it's organised even during COVID, like yeah. being able to work through COVID with remote learning and then bringing all the students back. Yeah, it's a good transition. It was just yeah. all the year yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, for the year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like the fact that uh, like they say, you know, uh, like you can make friends from like different yellow people because you have like same class. So I think that's really good because like I have like classmates or like friends that were way younger than me, but we got look like really good. Yeah. A lot of that probably comes from being a small school though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's only like what thirty or twelve, so everyone mm. thirty six years. Yeah. Yeah. See, I tell everyone there's no drama because like there's like literally yeah. like thirty no. classes. <laughs> everyone knows everyone. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Second question, tell us about your experience at the school. Um, well, my experience, uh, I came in year seven. Um, at the start, I was really weary about coming to Mac because um, uh, I didn't have a lot of friends that were coming here. Um, but when I started, like, especially when we changed into the vertical learning system when I was in year 8 um, and I get, got to choose all my subjects and make sure I had all, all, art, all art subjects. Um, I just love being at school especially because I spent most of the time in the studio. Um, yeah and I think that Mac has really um, pushed me to kind of find my unique Niche. Um, so yeah. Well, I guess me and you, Hania, we were the only ones here. It's <laughs> really old yeah, structure. Yeah, for the OGs. So <laughs> I guess we get yeah, to see that transition. Yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, I remember me and Alex in year seven was very separated. Like yeah. Alex was in the sealed class, and I was in one of the other classes. Um, but. Now we've been in a lot of different classes together yeah. from year 8 until year 12. Um, and we've been in a lot of classes with a whole bunch of other people. Um, and I feel like that's like, the experience of learning from other people and also teaching other people has been really amazing. I hated six periods a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four periods is where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, so, what was the question? <laughs> How was my experience? It was great because I came in thinking I was going to do um, VCAL at the start, and Miss Rollins said to me, like, she looked at my results from my previous school and she said, no, nah, straight up no. 
Um, you can do BCA, but how about unscored, so not doing the exams, and I'm like, oh, that's like a relief because exams always made me stress. And then throughout the progression of my time here at MAC, I had uh, really claimed my confidence within myself, and I actually did score BCE, and I actually did the exams. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and I got through like really well. And it was really nice. I, uh, so my experience in school was like when I first came here, I was a skinny little kid. <laughs> uh, I was very short. I'm slim, but I was really skinny. And I remember the, other, the only other person, like my first class was maths, and the only other person that was more skinny than me was Johannes. And so technically, I just went up to him and like, like, I sit next to him and like eventually because we were like you know. We both like we match our vibes and stuff. We became like really close friends and whatnot. And like for a year, like he was like uh, I didn't have much friends in my not gonna lie. Like my first year, like he was like one of my closest friends and like probably like one of the few like during that year. But after a while, like when like the score sort of thing, you know, thing opened, uh, the court, which is really good. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I started making like ton of friends. Like you just play sports and stuff, and not only from that, but like um, I used to be in PE. Like I used to have like PE like four times or like three times a week. Like uh, PE was like something like, uh, that drives me crazy, you know. And I make like crazy friends. I, I remember her. Uh, she was in my PE. You remember my, my PE class? I remember back in the ten. I'm not sure if you remember, it, but uh, I didn't do PE at that point. It wasn't me. I'm not sure it was you, because I remember I was like, who's this girl? Because I remember you were new to the school, yeah, back in your turn, then you come back. At the end of your turn, yeah, just yeah, started yeah, yeah. turn four. It was her, it was her. I was like, uh, it was so late, yeah, it was like turn four. I yeah, was like, started turn four. I was like, Everyone was like that, yeah. they were like, what? I saw her, I was like, who's this new girl? And then, like, like the sports and everything, like PE, like gyms and stuff, everything, they helped me great. Like, you know, they make me like, I'm not saying famous, but like, just <laughs> popular. They make me popular among, you know, More kids. Well known. Yeah. 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 So I think my experience at Mac has been great. You know, I won't choose any other school over this one. Because, like, this, this one has blessed me with a lot of friends, like, a lot of great people in general. Yeah. Yeah, my experience was um, similar to Elsie, where, like, she, she, yeah, she thought she was going to do retail, where I did do retail. And big help improved my confidence and made me more comfortable. And getting ducks in year nine, uh, year eleven made me more comfortable. And then going to doing a cert four in IT was a big leap. And now moving on, and I've got an apprenticeship. So yeah. Um. Yes, yeah, so I moved um, to Mac in two thousand sixteen. Uh, my brother actually went to this school. And then I went to a different high school, and then I was at the school for like two weeks, and then my brother was telling me how good the school was, so I was like, all right, I just moved to Mac. So then uh, I just heard about how great it was, and um, I was nailing that down. Um, and then, yeah, I think uh, I've always been the sort of person that kind of does everything, so I got to sign up to so many camps, uh, like for science or for leadership or whatever, um, and that really helped me. Um, put on my good stuff on my resume and also maybe uh, help me. Thank you, some really good friends. So that's good. So, yeah, love that. Alright, next question. Tell us about your experience with vertical classes. Um, I thought it was different because from my previous school it wasn't like that. Like it was just strictly your year level. Yeah. Like even the home group or mentoring here, like I thought it was bit different, I wasn't used to it, but I eventually kind of got used to it that this school is different in a, in a good way. Yeah. yeah, that's like the same with me because we didn't, my previous school didn't have a vertical system whatsoever, but that's also when I made connections with other people from different year levels and made a bunch of like different, like friends as well, and it was very nice and it was like eye-opening because I never experienced that at my previous school, it was all just set in your year level and you just stick with those people all throughout your high school experience and then it's like much more open when it was like the vertical system of the classes and I had great times um, just even in that 
turn four, year ten. It was great having some of the elective classes and um, just interacting with different uh, kids from different year levels. It was great. You kind of like forget that you are in your year. Like I remember like a bunch of people graduating like two years ago, and I was like, wait, you're grad? Like, what you were saying years ago? Like, why are you graduating? Um, yeah, I'm just like. I'll be talking to my year 11 friends and then they'll be like, because we've already finished school, and then I'm like, oh, so when are you ready? And they're like, oh, I still have school. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's making make heaps of friends. Honestly, don't know why everyone else does it. Like, I have to stop and be like, when I'm talking to people from other schools, I'll be like, wait. Max does it differently. Yeah, you yeah. have to like, explain it every time yeah. you talk about school. You're like, oh, yeah, so And they're like, wait, what, what do you mean by that? Mm -hmm. um, like when I when I'm talking about like my fashion class or something, they're like, huh? And I'm like, oh wait, yeah, it's different. <laughs> it's though. different. Yeah, no. When I started talking about it at my like my friends from my previous school, they're like, what? That happens? They're like, what? that's really weird. Like, I'm pretty sure that was um, everyone's reaction when I told them that it's like multiple year levels in mm. one class. Yeah. Yeah. I was really confused. Yeah. People forget about it and you casually mention it, people are like that sounds so stupid. And you're like, no, but it's, it's good. It's, it's actually good. like it. It's yeah. so much better than like actual work. Because like, like, all of us have to store at different schools and that before it changed. So you can. Um, and I think it's uh, really helped, like, because I have strengths and I have weaknesses and I can excel in some classes and um, in classes that I need more help in, like maths. <laughs> um, I can build my confidence in that because, like, I know, um, like, year 10, I, like, failed half of math, but we figured out a plan um, to get me back, like, up there, um, and it worked. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I also think that it really helps you kind of figure out um, what you're good at and, um, what you're not and like figure out like a pathway, a career pathway really well. Like um, throughout all of my subject selections, um, I've been really, I found that I'm really clear on where I want to go and how I'm going to get there. Um, but also um, knowing that there's other pathways if I don't get it the way that I um, first put, put it down. Um, I think it really helps you like find like like I think before I came to math I didn't even know that I really liked science but then I realized that I just subconsciously chose it all science subjects and so I was like you can't just do all science and I was like oh I didn't even realize that picked all of them so that now I'm just doing heaps of science and that's what I want to do in the future I don't think I would have realized that if I didn't go to math. Yeah, yeah for me I didn't have to trudge through year 9, 10, 8 uh, humanities <laughs> I wanted to just do science. So yeah um, and I didn't like I would have picked all art but then I was pushed to do science and I found that I was actually good at that. Um, so I did biology in, I finished in uh, 3, 4 and year 11. Um, and if we hadn't had that like vertical learning where you can like um, excel a bit or um, stuff like that, I wouldn't have completed biology. Um, and yet even now, even though I'm going in an art career, um, I still want to make sure that there's a little bit of science and technology in there. Um, yeah. Yeah, really. Like, I would say, like when you're in class with like, uh, like age does, doesn't really matter when you're in class with like people who match your vibes and stuff. I reckon like uh, it helps you a lot. Like it wants, uh, makes you want to go to class more often. You know, I'm gonna be honest. Like my previous schools, I barely used to have like more than uh, forty like attendance. Like, you know, yeah, forty forty percent. Like I, I was like. I was in class with like people that did, just didn't ma uh, like not match with me. Yeah. You didn't want to I didn't pick in at all. Like. But here, like because of the vertical classes, like it was beautiful. Uh, <laughs> now, so now I'm just saying it, not flex, but you know, it's, uh, my tender is above 90 now. You know, so is that like, because of other screens from his family? Could be misunderstood. But yeah, you're in a class with people, and everyone has chosen to be there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that just 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 that element makes it so much better. You can just make friends so much more easier. Yeah, yeah, just to get everything done. Um, um, vertical learning for me and Alex started when we were in year eight, um, and they had like they had the um, people like put down what type of classes that they would want to see, and they came up with like I think it was a hundred different subjects that you could choose. 
and then everyone chose, um, and then you were in the class with people who chose Kubernetes classes. Um, and yeah, you were assessed on like your year level um, against like a rubric, I think it was. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Like everyone can do the same assignment. Like if you have like class of year seven to ten, but then um, yeah, everyone will be graded differently based on like how old they are. So yeah. if you have like a year seven and a year nine, like turn in like the same like I don't know, quality of work, then the year seven is going to get a much higher score than the you know. Yeah. And then yeah. Lucky year seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, that was like good because I think I was in one class when I was in year 10. I was like, there was one year 10, two year nines, a couple year eights, and then like there was like 15 year sevens. So I was in like a group project where it was like me and like four year sevens, and that really uh, helped me learn patience. Because <laughs> 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 um, that was like, that was really stressful, but I think that, that helped my leadership skills because uh, you can teach people that don't know as much mm. about what's going on. <laughs> Yeah. How do you think your experience at Mac has prepared you for the future? Um, well, I actually did a flip. Like, I was thinking of doing um, media communications design when I like first came to Mac. Then now I've done a complete. But it's still like similar in the sense I would pick like the same like subjects and stuff going to university that blend in with the media communications or arts and stuff, but I'm actually thinking of doing a Bachelor of Education, so teaching uh, potentially either, it's P to 12, so I could do primary school. I recently, um, so I applied to do Fashion Sustainability um, with our my team Collabs, um, and Collabs called saying that they would give me an offer because they don't look at inter, you just have to do an interview, and in that interview they told me that they don't look at portfolios or ATAR because um, fashion is something that um, schools don't teach you. And I was thinking to myself, well, I took fashion at, Mac, like, at least three times. Um, I definitely have at least the, like, some set basics, skills. some set school skills that I can go into. And I was really um, adamant of sending them um, the work that I've done, even though they said, oh, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. um, and they looked at it and they were like, oh, this is really good. And I had, because I had learned how to put a folio together already. Um, so yeah, uh, I got accepted for that. And yeah, so um, the subjects that I've done at Mac have really helped me um, with my future. <laughs> Just more specifics, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how how did Mac help to be a teacher? Yeah, very good. Um, I think because of all like this, like this, I think the teachers all are very kind of niche as well. Because obviously, if you need to have a fashion class, you need to have someone that can teach fashion, you know, so someone that you know. So, yeah. so I think all the teachers know a bit more specifically and talk to you about. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, just more specifically like about um, your future. So like, um, I think of some uh, some other schools. You're like, oh, so should I study? Like science or whatever, and the teacher be like, oh yeah, this one uni is really good. But then, like, because all the small class sizes, the teachers can really have a proper conversation with you about like all the different um, pathway options. I think I talked to like ten different people about um, what I want to do in the future. Like, it took me a really long time, but I think I know what I want to do now. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think that really helped with that. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of didn't make a lot of sense, but yeah. <laughs> Probably the collaboration thing as well. Um, Especially among the different year levels, the sort of and the different classes that you do, uh, you sort of learn to broaden the input you take from a variety of people. If that makes sense, uh, you're not just talking to year ten to do science and talking to year, I don't know year twelve to do art and humanities, and that sort of changes the way that you have a perspective on things. At least I think. You know, um, I think leadership has really, uh, a lot of my skills that I've built up now um, and stuff that I'm proud of has come from leadership and um, I wouldn't have even thought about getting into leadership if I hadn't had a teacher that pushed me. Um, like, I think it was year eight, I was in like a law class and 
just based on me speaking, uh, raising my hand and taking the lead on some projects, um, I was uh, recommended to go to a leadership camp and from then on I've always pushed myself to take on leadership positions. Um, so yeah, I think um, being on the leadership teams that, um, since year nine has really um, built up my skills. Kind of because you feel like work as well. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Especially, yeah. When I got my first job, I was like, they're like, oh, you're really confident at speaking. And I'm like, I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> um, yeah. In camp, they put us through, I don't know how many presentations every single week. Like, you just had to, um, you just had to get through it. Oh, I'm also working at school opportunities. Well, I literally yeah, forgot. I have like a business. Yeah. I literally forgot about that until just then. I was like, oh my god, yeah. And then so that was kind of like, I had a catering business, so I would cater for all the school events, and then that really helped me learn a lot. Actually, everyone is, like, it's, the teachers are always looking for like, business opportunities. Like, right. I don't know yeah. how many times like, I'd just be making a, a random bracelet, and they're like, you just want to see business plan right now. And I'm like, yeah. uh, <laughs> okay. And yeah, then um, I had the skills to. Like run a store, small store. Mm -hmm. My resume at like fourteen was so many. They're like, dude, you have a, you have a business, and you're like, my child, so good on you. I'm like, the job. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, and I, uh, I I had like a job, you know, just in life, just doing books, but then I had to go through like applying for a tax file number, a new bank account, mm -hmm. all of that stuff. Um, and then when I got my first actual job, I was like, I'm all over this. <laughs> you already know. Yeah. Yeah. Um... In year 10, I didn't know like what I was going to do like in year 11 and 12 because like I was like so lost with like all the friends I was having like in school and stuff you know, I was just lost like I didn't know what I was going to do but Jens uh, helped me a lot with um, finding what I was passionate about which was Ally Help. I, I taught for a uh, first year, I did it for money, I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was like 100 bucks uh, per day. I was like, okay, that's good money so I should do it. But after doing it for one year, I really enjoy it. I was like, this is this is something that might be, you know, I'll be enjoying like in future at Island as well. Uh, so I was like, yeah, you uh, help me find a place where I can do this. And after Jens Jens was gone, Allison helped me with uh, finding a place for me to study after year twelve. So I think like this school, like they have like really good stuff. They help me find you know places where you can study. I also had something similar, like I had some idea for, from year 10, like wanting to do IT. So in year 11 and 12, I was doing IT, Cert 3, in year 11, Cert 4 this year. Then I asked Clark for some help for, because I'm kind of out of IT, I'm like thinking I'll do something different. So he got me a work placement and enjoyed it there, and then they also offered me an apprenticeship, so that's what I'm going to be doing next year, so I'm going to find out. I forgot to say for myself though, how I why I like made the switch made the switch to teaching is because I just came back to the initial feeling that I had like ages ago of like helping people and making sure they understand what they're learning and stuff and I like helping people in that sense. I don't know how many times people burn my work for English or something. Um, done that at some point. Yeah, yeah. So I have been on the receiving end as well. But I just like helping people and that's what I've come to the preference of um, like having to go into the Bachelor of Education so yeah. Um last question. Oh five. Oh five. Oh, five. Mm -hmm. oh sorry. What do you intend to do now that you've finished at Mac? Um, hopefully go to uni. Yes. Um, yeah, so um, we'll see what the ATR happens on the 30th, but uh, hopefully I want to go to RMIT to do a double degree in business management and applied science, but if I don't get the ATR for that, then probably something else science-y, probably at RMIT or Monash or something like that. So yeah, stay in the area. It's not like we can leave the country. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's time. Um, Straight to Melbourne Uni. Yeah. That's it. What do you want to do? Life? What do you want to do in life for a bachelor? No, of course. Um, now that you've finished it. Um, <laughs> well, I wanted to get into the direct entry Monash Med, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, 
Is probably science. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, but probably either science at Melbourne or I don't know if I feel like it at Melbourne, but I prefer science. Scholarship as well, so if you want to go to Melbourne, so you can catch them. I do. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping to do Bachelor of Education at Victoria University. If I don't get my ATAR though, I do have a guaranteed spot um, in their program, so they can work with me halfway. Uh, that suits my um, self, so yeah. Yeah, um, for me, I'm doing uh, allied health and then doing nursing, but like, don't be shocked if you guys see me on the soccer boost team, you know? <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'll be doing here. Thank you. Yeah, um, apart from wanting to stay in bed for a few weeks. <laughs> so uh, I'm tired of like waking up early in the morning. I also want to go through with my apprenticeship and do the best I can. And, yeah. Just, what are you doing you know, that? I'm working in a restaurant in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I've applied um, to study fashion and sustainability. Um, but I also want to, like recently this year, I've been doing um, some, I've started doing some art commissions, so I'm actually getting paid for some of my artwork. So I'm continue doing that and maybe you find, maybe you can find like, a little niche where I could like start a business inside or something like that. Um, yeah, hopefully that art piece will keep going through because it is actually a lot more money than I than I um, it's bit yeah <laughs> than I thought. Like I got paid like five hundred dollars just for like damn two art pieces that I got done in like a couple hours. That's good money. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now, yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to say about your time at BAC? Oh, I'm definitely going to come back and visit some of the teachers. Yes, 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 definitely. Yes. Same I think more to come around. Yes. Yeah. My friends were like, you're probably going to be that one person that graduated, but is still here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of. Uh, so my siblings, um, my sister starting year seven. I'm kind of excited to see how her life journey goes because I know it's very unique for everyone. Um, even though we're we're really similar, I know it's going to be a lot, um, really different as well. There's so many more people. It's just going to be yeah. 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 Just definitely go to school. There's going to be on the website, right? People are checking yeah. out. Yeah. People yeah. are checking out the website. Go to Mac. It's very fun definitely. school. Um, yeah, I'm very sad I'm graduating. Mm. Can't hang out here all day. We're not getting paid to say that as well, we actually. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're coming here uh, three times. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. I just want to say I am very grateful for coming at Mac, um, especially with what I was like originally with the mindset and the different like time and place where it was at my previous school. Um, it was really nice to come to the school and experience the environment and the family environment and the community it was really really nice and I'm really really grateful coming here and meeting so many lovely people and lovely teachers and yeah. Uh, <laughs> David? Yeah, I gotta have to say it. Uh, <laughs> Mac for me is like really special. Like, uh, I feel like you know I have so so much memories there, like all and none of them have been like bad, you know. All of them have been like lovely, you know. Like I've just met like so many people like uh, that. You got a one. Yeah, I would say that. Uh, I would say like I've met like so many people like that have like changed the way like I used to be, you know. Uh, I used to be a shy kid, but now like you can't. Kind of, yeah, my perfect, but my confidence grew, but overall, like as like a person, yeah, like they have reflected my personality, but in a good way, not in a bad way. Mm-hmm. Like and like they have made me more of like a social person, which like I'm really grateful for. And I would say like um, this school, this school, this school is nothing less than for me like a second home. You know, like, it's just a second home, like, no, yeah. and I won't mind like coming back and visiting it like once a while. Yeah, just a nice environment. It is. It's I've got like friends around Australia now because um, one of the teachers here helped me find a science camp that I went to. And I went to Canberra um, and 
in the holidays. It had to get cancelled halfway through because of all the fire, unfortunately. But like I went to these Right, you know what? Not talking about. Right, um, but like yeah, just um, just so camps and stuff, and me and Kanye became friends on the Alicia camp, and um, just you meet like it's such a great environment um, to just do what you want and make heaps of friends. And, um, and just to be cool. It's to be able to juggle all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else want to say, Kenneth? No. no. Well, that's it. That's it. It's a good school. <laughs> 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 to end it at that. <laughs>